Darshian, the clear favourite into the red now. Natasha Faithful, one on the horse first up. Set. Ready. Racing. Starshian began quite nicely, showing good speed is winging to take it up from Starshian and third is Sniff of Glory down on the inside for Watson. Lover Sessions going up towards the speed to race outside the leader. And then came Lorraine, who's out a little bit deeper, and Bridget goes through from Kailani. Now getting well back is Ocean Queen on the outside of the stayer, Kia or a Jewel. They come off the back straight and dashing clear is winging, leads by one and a half. Running second is Lover Session, and one and a quarter away third is Sniff of Glory. Starshian is racing one off the fence in fourth place. Out three wide is Lorraine. Into the picture is Bridget, taken out three wide, tracking up, and then came Kailani outside of Kiora Jewel, who's in front of it, and Ocean Queen is last about eight off the leader, up before the home turn. So Winging's got the front by one. Second is Lover Session. Snip of Glory the inside. Starshian's back in the middle. Needs a run. Lorraine's out a little bit wider. Bridget comes into it four deep. Ocean Queen tracks it up. Kailani just behind them, and Kiora Jewel is back on the inside. So Starshian Pretty desperate for daylight. Top of the straight gets out now with a white face to come after the leader now. Lover Session and back on the inside is Winging. Down the outside is Bridget and Ocean Queen. Starshian has raced up to Lover Session now. Snip of Glory is getting through. Ocean Queen is down the outside. Starshian has got the front though from Ocean Queen and Lover Session. Kia Ora Jewel and Starshian too good. Raced away one a length and a half to Ocean Queen. Three quarters away third is Lover Session and close up Kia Ora Jewel. Next start for it ran home really well. Then Snipper Glory the inside. Kailani wasn't too bad at a big prize, followed by Bridget. And the last couple winging stopped and last in after being three wide, no cover. Lorraine. Number six, Starshian. Pretty comfortable in the end. Starshian the winner. Dollar eighty, a dollar twenty. Beats Ocean Queen at one thirty and Lover Session at two ninety. And was very heavily back as though she was just about unbeatable today because uh it was 250 into 190 and everything else went the other way. Snipper Glory 480 to 7. Ocean Queen 330 out to 390. Lover Session 10 out to 15. And Kiora Jewel and Bridget both drifted 10 out to 14. So only one horse was back. That was Star Chien and has got the money here for a string of owners. And uh, including B Grant, J Lawrence and also Sir Thomas Percy. And uh, Natasha Faithful doing the job. OK, well, I head downstairs. That's win number two from six starts. So she's a nice-looking mare, presented well today and has done the job in fine style. Very good run from a Kia or a Jewel coming from the back. She's a staying type, and she looks set for a pretty good campaign. Ocean Queen was good down the outside in the second. First four is just over $100, and I think the quaddy paid, the early quaddy, just over 100 as well. We'll head downstairs, and Electra Bloodstock also in the ownership here. The margins one length by a half, 124.91, 35.93. Brittany, for the last 600 metres. That's right, if I'm not mistaken, I think James Christie's late father raced the mare, Marchienne, so it would be a special horse here, I'm sure, for the Christie family, Starchienne. And Brock Luthwaite joins me now. You would have come to the races today with a bit of confidence off the back of that Mount Barker win. Yeah, really confident. Dad kicked me in the car today, said, go on, you'll be right. So we're pretty happy about that. What were your thoughts during the run today? A bit scary on the corner. Got dragged back a bit. Obviously, we wanted to be positive. I felt my horse in the last race, Olara's Prince, ran well, but they didn't make ground. So I was uh, quite vocal of Tash to not be too far back. She got dragged back a bit on the corner, but the way she came through them, uh, capital E for experience. Tell us a little bit more about this mare behind the scenes. Late Matura. I mean, she's a, she got broken in at three years old. Today we're competing against Bob's horse that's trying to win an Oaks at three. We got broken in at three. So, um, you know, she's a late Matura and had late experience. So it's all coming to her a bit, bit late, but she's uh, doing it really, really well. So now when you assess her from a physical perspective, has she really been able to mature into her frame as a five-year-old and mentally, is she fully there now? Yeah, big motor, but not the bigger rig. Um, I was looking as they went into the parade ring and uh, Bob's horse was a lot bigger than her, maybe a hand. And you're looking at two years' age difference. So um, she's not the biggest, but the motor's big. What are your expectations from a distance point of view? Today a win at 1,400 metres. We know the mayor, and her mum stretched out to staying trips. Do you think that she can really stretch it out? That's right. We think she, she will, um, but when you've got a bit of class on your side and you can go so well over the shorter distances, um, we're going to let her tell us. So I'll speak to the jockey and we'll look at next run. You know, it could be a 16, it could be a 13, um, capital V for Versatile. It's always nice to have a Versatile horse. Well done on the win.
Thanks, Brett. There is Brock Luthwaite and Starshien taking out the fourth race of the day. We'll get a word from Tash Faithful. We certainly will. Tash Faithful was drawn an inside gate. It was a race that probably only had muddling speed on there, Tash, but it looks as though you were keen to, one, stay off the fence, and two, get a little bit of cover if you could. Yeah, ended up exactly where I wanted to be. Looking at the speed maps, I was a little bit worried. I just wanted to get cover and settle her. But, um, in the end, it turned out really good. Although at the, the 600 metre marker, all of a sudden the one in front of you was sort of dragging you back through the field. Yeah, I thought I was in a bit of trouble there. I sort of made, made a good decision letting Chris Palmer cross me, but then I was coming back on my lap. But yeah, she was good enough. She got out and got going. Once she got going and once she got out, she certainly showed a nice turn of acceleration. She looks as though she's a, a work in progress, but there's a lot to work with. Yeah, I really, really like her. I actually had a lot to do with her last preparation and tried really hard to get on her, but I couldn't but I'm um, just really lucky I got on her this prep and really looking forward to her progressing. Probably more impressive than her win at Mount Barker even though the distance is smaller. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think she's just still learning and she's going to keep progressing through her prep. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. There is Tash Faithful, combines with William Luthwaite and Starshien takes out the Furphy Handicap. Take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. 